it's that sweet simmer and welcome to a sims 3 current household this is kind of really random um i know that i sound a lot better than i thought i was going to and i probably still sound like complete crap um i'm really sick i if you guys don't follow me on twitter i have pneumonia and i'm pretty much i've been home all week from school i'm pretty sick and i have been playing <coughs> current household off camera obviously um just for kind of my enjoyment because you know staying home by yourself all week can get pretty boring <laughs> um so yeah if there is like frequent cuts in this video i'm probably coughing my brains out and something like that so yeah anyways i've been playing this household for actually quite a while i didn't just start playing them this week um but as you can see we're not that far along in this household so I've taken like a few breaks from them, but I haven't been playing them. I made them like two months ago. So yeah, anyways, they live in Bridgeport, which is a beautiful town, I think. And I really wanted to play in it. And yeah, and this is their wedding lot. I built it myself. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, but yeah, we live in Bridgeport and it's really pretty right now because it's snowing. And yeah, so. We will just get back to our house. If I can find it, I don't remember which one it is. Err. What did I just do? What did I just do? I don't even know. Where is our house? <laughs> Alright, we're back at the house. Um, so I guess I'll start off by showing you guys the house. Um, it is this house right here that comes in Bridgeport already next to like the green house and across from the blue house. It's the pink house. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know why that was funny to me. But it's the holidays right now, so that's really exciting. And I love, love the holidays. And the holidays are actually coming up. So, yeah, I'm going to let it play because one of our Sims is at work. So I'll let it play so that he'll be home by the time I'm done showing the house. So, yeah, this is the living room. You walk in, and there's, like, this wall here, and we have some mistletoe. I kind of went all out with decorating for Christmas. Sorry about that, Fraps actually crashed on me. Um, but yeah, this is the living room. Um, we have Tiberium growing, which our dog found. We have some more over here. Um, but I just went for like a really classic, like not super modern living room. I don't know. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. But um, yeah, same, same. I think I have my game volumes up because when I'm playing, I don't really turn them down because there's really no point. So I'll turn them down for you right now. There. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the living room for like the third time. Um, we use like that 70s, 80s, 90s stuff TV. I love this little TV bookshelf, CD shelf thingy. Um, we usually have another couch here and then um, a plant this plant on the other side but since it's Christmas time I wanted to put in the Christmas tree and some of the decorations so yeah he is on his way home now so yeah. <laughs> and then over here we have an art easel and like a computer it's our little office area um, and then over here we have a dining room but I usually have let's see this on it <laughs> I took it off because we had a feast party and people don't really sit here with that there, so I took that off. Um, and then we have a pile of pee, which we'll have to fix. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, this is our kitchen. Um, I didn't um, build this house, obviously. It came in Bridgeport, but I did furnish it myself and like completely change all the walls and stuff. So yeah, <laughs> um, here's the kitchen, like I said. Um, it's I like the color scheme. I like the rose and like the mint green, like same thing in the dining room over here i really like the theme so yeah and then we have a little dog bowl and then we have our garage which again has a pee puddle and then we used to have cars in here but i wanted to put the dogs in here because we had them we just don't have a lot of room for them so yeah and then we have like an exercise machine and our bathroom which is really small but we make it work we have a shower a bathtub for the puppies and a toilet and a sink obviously and then this is the master bedroom um 
really pink, I know. Um, I'll explain why in a sec, but yeah, that's pretty much that. And we have like pictures from their wedding and stuff and they're really cute. Um, and then our baby, <laughs> and then a crib. So that's pretty much it for the house. This is what it looks like when I'm playing it. I really love this house, but eventually we're gonna need to move out when we have like one more kid or before this one turns into a child because uh, there's really no room to expand like on the lot like you can't expand expand this way or this way like it's all like cut off pretty much so yeah sorry I was sniffling <laughs> um so I guess I'll go ahead and introduce you to our sims I'm gonna start off with the sim that I started off with get up get up all right, so if I didn't mention, we're on week three, day six. So we're not that far into the game, but we're pretty far. Sorry about that. I had a coughing attack. Um, this is Aubrey Manson. She is so pretty, I think. Um, I don't have my game settings up super, super high right now. So if it looks a little bit pixely, that's why. Um, she is a Libra. Yep, that's the first thing I tell you. She's family-oriented, a natural cook, hopeless romantic, artistic, and a green thumb. Um, kind of like the same traits I migrate around for my founder sims in any sort of gameplay. Um, she likes indie music, chili con carne, and spice berry. And she is six days into becoming an adult. And this is her family tree. It's very small. Um, she's a pretty social butterfly, if you ask me. She has lots of friends and stuff like that. Oh, I forgot to say her lifetime wish is to be a renaissance sim. At first, it was the, uh, raise five kids from children to teens or whatever it was. But, um, I figured I wanted to be slower with them. Like, I didn't want to have kids with them right away. Um, as you can see, they just had Austin and they're almost adults. Um, so yeah, I decided I didn't want them to have five kids. I wanted it to be sort of a smaller family. So I just, uh, changed it to be a renaissance sim because she is a very skill-oriented person if you ask me so yeah like I said she is pretty social she has quite a few friends this is her best friend Talia Ali or Ali I don't really know how to say it she's a girl that comes in Bridgeport um I gave her a different hair but I guess she aged up into an adult um they're like best friends like they really are best friends and then we have her husband Daniel, which is over there, which I'll show you in a little bit, um, our dog, <laughs> and then, like, the repair guy, Tiara, Angelista, her son, Big Hartley, <laughs> these are just people we've invited to, like, our parties and stuff, and, yeah, and then we have her ex, <laughs> which I'll explain that in a little bit, um, she's currently unemployed, uh, she likes to paint, and she pretty much just gets money from that, and then we get money from our dog, which is why we're pretty much loaded right now. Um, I'll explain that also in a sec. Uh, her skills, she's a level 4 cooking, level 4 fishing, level 5 gardening, level 6 painting, level 2 social networking, <laughs> um, and I guess that's it. So yeah, she does plant a lot, so she has some like seeds and stuff in her inventory. I did not realize how hard it would be to talk. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. And then we also have, like, a car in here. We have our uh, navy blue uh, Ford Focus 5-door. So, yeah. And then that's pretty much it for Audrey. I almost said Audrey. <laughs> I have a friend named Audrey, so that's why I almost said Audrey. Um, and then she met Barry Tenderlove. Okay, I'll explain the story now. When she first moved here to Bridgeport, she met very tender love, and they were kind of just, like, friends at first, they had a pretty high relationship, she was the, he was the first guy she met, and, like, she was kind of young and naive, and, you know, yeah, <laughs> pretty much self-explanatory, she, like, started dating him, and they were, like, go out to clubs together and stuff, and then she met Daniel Jigger, that's his original name, um, he comes in Bridgeport if you, like, want him in your game, his name is J Daniel Jigger, so, yeah, <laughs> when she met Daniel, she couldn't help but to, like, have romantic feelings for him, and she was still dating Barry, and, like, she didn't really know what to do, she was kind of young and, like, caught in this pretty bad situation, so, 
she didn't really know what to do, and she ended up cheating on Barry, um, but then we went to go break the news to Barry like a good person, and we caught him cheating on us, so it was kind of just like a toxic relationship, they both cheated on each other, so they just ended in a really big bad fight, uh, I think I have some screenshots that I will insert at the end of this video, sorry, again, um, that was intense, <laughs> okay, but yeah, I'll insert some screenshots at the end of the video if I can find them, um, so yeah, that's pretty much the whole story with Barry. He still tries to contact us. He asked us on a date, like, recently, and we were like, dude, we're married now. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that. She then, um, met Daniel, and once she was with Daniel, she had no interest in cheating on him. She had no interest in finding anybody else. She knew he was the one. She asked him to move in, and they pretty much were dating for a while, and then when we got Zeke, actually, I think we already had Zeke. I think Aud Aubrey had Zeke before he moved in. Um, he hunts, as you can see. He found us some Tiberium, and we obviously grew it. <laughs> um, and we went to Egypt. I think it was Egypt. I mean, this guy says his homeland is France, but I don't think we went to France. Let me see. It was Egypt. Yeah, we went to Egypt together, and they kind of, like, instantly fell in love, completely fell in love there. Like, they were dating, you know, when they were here. Um, but, you know, it's still, like, does he really love me kind of thing. And so when they got to Egypt, they really bonded, and they did everything together. Like, they bought cameras, as, I can, as you can see. Yeah, we have a camera. We have some relics that I still haven't, like, put out yet for decoration, but I will once we move into our new house, um, so, yeah, and then at the end of their trip in Egypt, what I did is that, like, they have the base camp in Egypt, but uh, let me see if I could show you, sort of, I have pictures that, again, I'll insert at the end, they, there's, like, a base camp, like, that thing right there, that's not the base camp, <laughs> that's the graveyard, um, but they have a base camp, but I took them instead to this, like, nearby, like, boat wreck, area and had them camp out there like I bought them a tent and everything and just had them camp there which again will be in the pictures um but at the end of their trip before they went home he proposed to her in front of the beautiful little pond and she, it was just beautiful <laughs> and then they came home and she had a bachelorette party he was so focused on work that he didn't really you know have a bachelor party and he doesn't have that many friends like he has friends like he knows some people but they're kind of like mutual friends of her. Like she's friends with all the people and he's just kind of here. <laughs> no offense. But yeah, this is Daniel. He's kind of a nerd. I guess he has a nerd thing. He's five days till aging up into an adult. So he's one day older than us. He's a natural cook, green thumb, coward, athletic, and a heavy sleeper. He likes lilac, waffles, and classical music. And he's a Sagittarius. And their signs are compatible, if you're wondering. Um, and he wants to be a superstar athlete. Um, again, he's not super friendly with a bunch of people. He used to have this friend right here. It used to say old friend right here. I don't know why it doesn't anymore, but yeah, they used to be old friends and he is a level four in the professional sports career. Um, he just got promoted to this. So we have to work on his teammates. He's doing really well with his athletic, like really well. Um, he's a level eight right now. He just, I don't know. Something about working out to him is like a drug. He'll come home from work and instantly go work out. It's his thing. He's level two cooking, level four fishing, level one handiness. He's maxed out mixology, but he didn't do that while we were in the household with him. Level five drums. I didn't even know that. And a level one writing skill. So that's his thing. We got some frogs from Egypt, which I was going to put in like a little terrarium, which I'll actually do after this, I think. And he has some seeds because he also likes to garden, sort of. And then he has the La Matia sports car thing, which, again, we got from Tiberium. <laughs> I love Tiberium. And I don't think it's cheating because it takes a long time for it to grow. So, yeah. <laughs> and then they had Austin. This is Austin Manson. Um, or if I forgot to mention, his name was Daniel Jigger, and he took her last name just because I'm really picky about last names with my sims, um, so, yeah, this is Austin, 
their little baby. Let me see if I can get it down. Their little baby. He's so cute. Um, he just aged up today, hence the birthday cake in the kitchen. Um, he's neurotic and loves the outdoors. He's seven days until becoming a child. He's a, an Aquarius. He likes lilac, veggie rolls, and rock music. I love him. He's so cute. I'm sorry. He's just, he looks so adorable. Like, look at his little icon. He's so cute. He knows basically just the family and then the repair guy, um, because he's our repair guy every time. He has no skills, no job, obviously. So, that's pretty much it about him. He was, he was our first baby, and they were very excited about him. He was not an accident. They tried for him. So, yeah. <laughs> These guys like to throw a lot of parties. She is definitely the party thrower here, which is why she has so many friends. She has not thrown a bad party, like, once. Every party she's thrown has been awesome. Like, right here. Threw a great party from Happy Guests. We threw a Snowflake Day feast party. So, which is why we have, like, a million and two leftovers. Um, but, yeah. Then, I'll introduce you to the pets. Here we have Zeke. <laughs> Zeke is my favorite little boy. He is so cute. He is so cute. Okay. <coughs> yeah, that's Zeke. He is non-destructive and adventurous and quiet and independent. He was trained to be these two. Um, and we got him when he was an adult, so we didn't really get him when he was a puppy. He ages up to be an elder in nine days. I'm so sad. And I think that's actually extended. I think I did extend the pet lifespan. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. He has a level eight in the hunting skill. He's very good at hunting. He finds lots of gems and lots of metals and has found Tiberium twice. Um, so that's great. Um, he has enough lifetime rewards, I think, to buy some stuff. What is this? Alpha pet. Ooh, that's great. I think I'm gonna get that. <laughs> um, anyways, continuing. This is Mochi. Oh my god, Mochi! He looks so cute. Ah! Okay. It's a boy. We just adopted him, like, two days ago before this. Um, it's a little Yorkshire Terrier. Um, he's a puppy right now, and he's so cute. Oh my god, I die. He only likes swimming because, again, he's a puppy. He doesn't really have any other traits. He is four days until aging up into an adult puppy, and he knows basically the family. Has no skills, no nothing. He's kind of just a cute little lap dog right now. But when he's older, I think we'll get him more into hunting, like his older brother and all that fun stuff. So I'm sorry, again, if my voice and my coughing has bugged you throughout the video and my constant pausing but I really wanted to get a video up for you guys sort of because you know I promised you guys a Sims 3 Let's Play and that is still coming but it's not going to come yet really obviously for obvious reasons um that's why it hasn't come yet because I've, I'm pretty sick and it's hard for me to talk this long even this is pretty hard. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys understand, and I'll definitely get on it right when I'm better. Um, but I did want to share just, like, this family with you guys, because I know I'm going to continue playing with them for a while, because I really, really love this family. And no, I have not cheated. Um, if you're wondering, I have not cheated once with their funds or anything to get this house or anything. It's all been, like, Tiberium and then painting and stuff like that. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to see the screenshots, you can go ahead and stick around. You don't have to watch the screenshots, but you know, if you do, you're awesome. And if you like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.